Hello everyone, today we are going to learn the theory of music starting from the basic grade 1. I'm using this workbook called Theory Made Easy by Lina Ng. This book is very popular here in Singapore and here are the contents of all the topics that you will cover in grade 1 and especially if you are sitting for the ABSN exam, you will need to finish this whole workbook and then you are ready to try the test paper. And for the test paper, I will share with you as well in another video. First, let's learn about time values. Semi-brief, this is four counts and the way you draw, it looks a little bit like a circle. Minim, minim is two counts. First, we will draw the note head and add a stem. Crotcher, one count. It looks like minim but color the note head in black. Quaver is half count. First, we will draw a crotchet, so one note head and color in black, add a stem, and then add a tail. This is half count. These are also quavers, they are joined together. So when you have more than one quaver, you can group their tails together. Okay, so you will need to memorize this table here, and including how to spell them. Now let's start doing this one. Try not to check on the table once you already memorize them. So this is two counts. This is one count, it's a crotchet here. Quaver, half count. Semi-brief, four counts. Crotchet, one count. Quaver, half count. Minim, two counts. Now quaver, half count. Minim, two count. Quaver again, half count. Semi-brief, four count. Crotchet, one count. Semi-brief, four counts. Minims, two count. And crotchet, one count. Now, you will need to name the note. So, that's why we need to know how to spell. This is a minim, so M-I-N-I-M. -I -I and this with a tail is a quaver, Q-U-A-V-E-R. Now, crotchet, C-R-O-T-C-H-E-T. -E this is also a quaver because it has a tail. So, quaver. And, four count, just one, one round, round thing. Semi-brief. Now, this is two count. Minim. Now, let's go on to the next page. Now fill in the blanks with the correct numbers. One semi-brief equals to how many minim? Semi-brief is four counts, and minim is two counts, so two minim. And then one semi-brief, how many crotchet? Crotchet is one count. This is four, this is one, so four crotchets. And quaver is half count, so this is four counts. One semi-brief equals to eight quaver. Now, minims, two count, crotchet is one count, so two divided by one, two. And one minim equals to how many quaver? The answer will be four. And one crotchet equals to two quavers. Now, this is also about counting. So we need to color the total number for each crab. Four counts with red. Two counts with yellow and one count with green. Okay, so the very first one here is minim. Minim is two counts, so I'll get yellow. Now, here, there are four crotchets here. So each of a crotchet is one count, so one, two, three, four. A total of four counts. We will go red color. And then Quaver, one quaver is half count. There are two quaver here, so half plus half is equals to one. So total is one count. We will go to green color. Oh, it's so dark. <laughs> okay, and one crotchet plus one crotchet. So total are two counts. It's also yellow. Next, minim is two counts. And then two quaver, half plus half is equal to one, plus one crosser is one. So all together, two plus half plus half plus one, all together are four. Four counts are red color. 
Now, four quavers in total. So, half times four is two counts. Two cards is yellow. Next, two minim, two count each. So, two plus two, four. And then these are also two counts. One minim, one quarter plus one quarter. So two plus one plus one total is also four counts. And then one quarter is one count. Two quavers are equal to one count. Total are two count. Yellow. Last one. Two quavers each a half. So total are one. Okay. Now let's learn about time signature. In grade 1, we will have 2, 4, 3, 4, or 4, 4, which is 2, 4, is 2 count in a bar, 3, 4, 3 count in a bar, 4, 4, 4 counts in a bar. Okay, now this is the time signature. Usually it's written after the clef, and this is the treble clef here. And this is called 1 bar. 1 bar, 1 bar, 1 bar. So the total here is 4 bar. 1, 2, 3, 4. And each of the bar are separated by the line. These lines are called bar line. And to end the pieces, usually they will have double bar line to state the ending. These are the few things that you will need to memorize. And now let's go to the name. 2-4 is called simple duple. Everything is simple in grade 1. So 3-4 is simple triple. 4-4 four, four is simple quadruple. So 2 on top means 2 count in a bar. But 4 in the bottom means quartered beats. So why the bottom is 4 although it means quartered which is 1 count? Because there are another way of counting. This 4 counts is also called a whole note. This is a minim which is 2 counts. It is also called half note. And this is a quartered. It is also called a quarter note. So, quarter note will be like this, right? So that's why 4 on the bottom is here. It's 2 quarter note in a bar or 2 crotchets in a bar. And then 3 for 3 crotchets bits in a bar, which is crotchet bits is also called quarter, quarter notes. So now I'm going to go back to the first page and add this. This is semi-brief. Another name is called whole note. Minim is called half note. Crotchet, quarter note. Okay, now let's go back. Now, time signature of 4-4 four, four can also be written as a C. So instead of writing 4-4 four, four here, for example, you can just write a C here. And another name of 4-4, four, four, common time. So you will also need to memorize all the name here, including this one, before we start doing the exercise. The first one is the example. One count plus one count and a bar line. So only two count in a bar. That's why it's two, four. And this is your first counting, one. This is your second counting. Two, half plus half equals to one. So half plus half makes one. This is your first count. And this is your second count. This is one count. And these are one count each. First, second. And this is two count. So just first, second. Three crotches in a bar. So... 3 for the top and on the bottom is only 4. For grade 1, you only learn everything 4 for the bottom. So this is 1 count. This is also 1 count but don't write 1 here. It's the second beat. And this is 3, 4. It's going to have the third beat here. Quiver plus quiver is 1. So it's third beat. Now the next bar. These two makes 1. This is 1 count. Second. This is also 1 count. Now all are crotchet, so one, two, three. Minim is two count, first and second. Crotchet, third. Now half plus half is one. This is also one, so second one. Minim is two count, so three 
and four. Let's try one more time. This is one. This is also one for second bit. This is two count, three and four. Total are four counts in a bar. So four, four. So this is first. This two makes one. One count, one count. So one, two, three, four. This two counts, so one and two. This also two count, three and four. Last one. Quaver and quaver makes one crochet. So one count here. And minim is two counts. So one plus two is total of three. It's second, third. Let's try the next bar. Two counts for minim, one and two. Crochet, third bit. And then it's already a bar line. So it's three, four. All crochet, two, three. Bar line, one, two and three. This is one and two for minimum. Last one, three. Next. Now add bar lines to the following. They give you three, four means after three counts, you got to put a bar line. So one, two, three. Bar line. This is two plus one, three. Bar line. Half plus half is one. So if you're confused, you're like, one. This is also one. This is also one. Now it's three. Bar line. This is two count. This is half plus half. So two plus half, half. And then three. Then one, two, three is the end. Next question. Four, four. So four counts in a bar. This is two plus two, four. One plus one plus two is already four here. Half plus half makes one. Plus one, two counts already. Plus three, four. Okay, so these two makes one. This is second bit. This is third bit. This is fourth bit. And then two count plus two counts. Four. This note itself is already a four count. And then double bar line means the end. Now this is also four, four. One, two, two count, right? And then plus one count, plus one count is already four bar line. This is two. Okay. This is half. This is half. So until here is three. Not enough. One more. Here. And then one plus one plus two is four. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Finished. Now let's move on. Add a note to complete each bar. This is two four here. They only give you one crochet, which is only one count, and it's already a bar. I mean, it's not enough. You need to fill in with either one of these notes to match the time signature. So this is two four. You already have one count. You will need one more count. So one crochet here will be suitable. This is a half plus half total are also one count, and you also need another one more to mix two. So one crochet. Now. Crochet is one count. Quiver is half count. To mix two, you need only another half count. So, one quiver. One plus half plus half makes two. Now, the whole bar is empty here. You need two counts because it's two four. So, just one note of minimum. Makes two counts. Next, three four. You have one bit here, one bit here. So, you have two already. You need three, which means one more. Crochet. Now two counts to make three. You need one more. Two plus one is three. Now half count here. One count, one count. So total is two and a half. You need three, means you've got to add another half. A quiver. So total is three. And this is only one count. You need two more. To make three. Okay, next four four. You already have two counts here, so two more counts are missing. A minimum for this one. One plus one plus one is three. So one more to get four. Now this is half. This is one. This is two. Total are three and a half. You need another half more to make four. So quiver. Now this is two counts, 
you need another two okay next prefix the time signature so one plus one plus one bar line means it's three count let's double check two plus one is also three count so three on the top and four on the bottom it's always four for grade one so two plus one plus half plus half now easier one is two plus one plus one four so four four one two half half three so one two three three four next it's a minimum and minimum four counts one two three four this one is very easy four four next one and half and half makes two right one plus one here so two four now one half half two that one 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 two which means each bar is four counts four four okay next are the revisions so number one under each note write each time name this is a minimum of course it's two counts quaver is half counts semi brief is four counts crotchet is one count minimum is two counts now how to spell name the note so minimum m-i-n-i-m quaver q-u-a-v-e-r semi brief S-E-M-I-B-R-E-V-E -E. Now crotchet C-R-O-T-C-H-E-T -E Quaver Q-U-A-V-E-R So when you are doing this revision, do not check in front, especially all these tables here. That's why you will need to memorize here. Including this one. You will be tested in the exam. So yeah, please memorize them. Now, add the correct time signature to each of the following. This is 1, half plus half plus 1. Total makes 3, so it's 3, 4. Next, 1, 2, 3, 4. 4, 4. Now, half, 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 half. Makes 2. Okay. Now, this is add a note to complete each bar. So, you can only put one note. So this is 3, 4. You need 3 counts. You only have 1 count here. So you need 2 more counts and 1 note only. So a minimum. Next, you already have 4 quaver. It makes 1, 2. It makes 2 count. You need 1 more count. So just 1 crochet is enough. Next, you already have half count here. And one plus one, so two and a half in the total. You only need half count more. One count, two more. Now four, four, you need four counts in a bar. One, two, three. You are sort of one note. So now this is two plus one plus half, three and a half in the total. Sometimes you can count from the back if it's easier. So half count more. Now, four quavers makes two counts because half each. So, another two counts. You already have two. You need two more to make four. Okay. Bar line. You need four counts because the, on top of the number is four. You only need to look at the top very carefully for grade one. So, one plus one is two. Two plus two makes four half plus half is one this is one this is one okay let's like here one this is one this is one these two makes one so total one two three four here bar line so one plus one plus one is three plus one four one two three four next one three counts only so one two three bar line one, two, three, bar line. One, two, three, bar line. Two plus one, double bar line, finish. Now we are going to learn about the note. This five line is called a staff, a staff, like this. Or the empty one, I'll show you like this. These are staff or staff. 
each of them and then each of the line are called ledger line and treble clef and bass clef now let's learn the treble clef first you will start from the, around the second line here and make a round like this go all the way up and then go down and twist so let me show you here this is five line right one two three four five one two three five ledger line we will start from the second one here here make it a, like this and then cover the whole two space you have four space by the way one two three four so five line and four space we will start from the second line make it around until the second space and then we go all the way up now after you go all the way up make a turn to the left after you go up and turn go straight down cut through and then take one more time so like this goes up turn to the left go straight down this is called treble clef okay so treble clef here you can go ahead and then you know, just draw them and then how to read the notes now in treble clef we will start from middle c or some people call it do if you are playing the piano and it will be around in the middle where the brand is so middle c is written on another ledger line so you need to draw your own line like this and we learned all in semi-brief for now, just one round round. This is middle C. And middle C, this is called line note because it's written on the line. All other notes which are written on the line like this, first line, second line, third line, fourth line, fifth line, these are called line notes. And notes who are written on the space like this, these are called space notes, including the bottom one here. Here, these are space notes and these are line notes. So long as it's written on the line, it's line note. So now this is C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, and so on. They are step by step and they are usually one line note, one space note. This is step by step up on the piano as well. So C, D, go up one step, we will go to the line note, and there's space note, line note, space note, line note, space note, line note, space note, until the high G. This is what you will be tested for grade 1. You need to be able to read from C, D, E, F, G all the way until high G. So if you can, try to get this kind of paper. You can print it out or you can just buy on the store. It's called Manuscript Book manuscript book and you can write more of the notes step by step and then skip and so on so practice more on the notes so you can read faster now i'll skip this part and let's go on to write the note again i'll be writing quite fast so if you need more time please press pause button so from the first one if you are confused on what is this, you can take out a piece of a blank paper, for example, then start counting from the bottom. This is C, next note will be here, D, E, until you reach this note. This is C, this is D, this is E, this is F, which is this one. That's why it's F. Some of the young kids here like to learn with trick as well. For treble clef, all the space note F, A, C, E is a face. So they just memorize this is the face. This is the first space, so this is F. And for the line note, let me draw for you E, G, B, D. F, 
they will read as every good boy does fine it's very popular here so some kids count like every good boy or b like for example this is d right in trouble craft they were like every good boy does ah this is d like this now let's get back to our work this is a and this is c this is e oh it's a face okay and then e g b d f so this is d g middle c high c but just read i c just by s c is fine f d g a f okay move on now they want you to write the note f but on the space note which means the bottom f not the high f because you have two f here right one is on the space note one is on the line note it's different now d but it's a line note which is a higher one e space note also a high one g line note the bottom one c line note only the middle c now f also line note means it's the higher one b line note d space note a space note g space note is the higher one not the bottom one okay so there are not many exercises in this book and actually it's not going to be enough so please write more get the manuscript rule out the paper and just practice your writing a lot more and now let's move on to the base clef now base clef is very easy to draw starting from the fourth line it looks like here yeah, the two dots so one two three four here and then curve two dots just like that this is called base clef and then the note in base clef they start drawing from middle c and goes opposite direction so at the bottom if you want of course you can start from the bottom as well this is their c this is also c but this is middle C. So you need to know that this middle C is equals to here. These two are called middle C. If you play on the piano, they will be on the same place, but different way of writing. So usually right hand, we use treble clef, and most of the time left hand, we use bass clef. So middle C is here. Going down one step, it becomes a space note, B, and then go down line note, A, G, F, and so on. So it goes from the most bottom here. F, G, A, B, C. D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Until C also. So after you finish tracing this one, you can start to name the note and then count them on a paper if you need. Try not to check this one. This is the answer. So this is also a F, A, C E. This is another face. Or some other people count like this. A C E G. Like all cow eat grass. Like that. And then this is G B D F A. And this is good boy does fine always. Okay. Next. Let's name this E, A, middle C, B, D, A, F, C, F. Now prefix the collect clef before each note because without the clef you won't know what is the name. It's written on the same line, same space, but different clef is different note. So this will be a D. It will be a bass clef because if it's the treble clef, it will be a B. Now this is a D in treble clef. C in treble clef as well. F D 
this is bass clef. This is B and it has to be treble clef. G, this is bass clef. Now E, this is bass. B, bass clef. G, this will be treble clef. E, also treble clef. C, also treble clef. And don't mind my handwriting, it's very ugly. Now this is A, space clef, F, space clef, this is B, space clef. Okay, next. Now this is matching of the notes. The first one, this is B. So here, this is A, triple clef here. Now this is G, G is all the way on the bottom. So, yep, middle C, F, E, D. Now, bass clef. This is A, first one. This is G on the bottom. So, G on the bottom here. Now, A, B. B is here. Middle C. E. D. F. Okay.